Hey everybody, welcome to episode 4. Uh, this is 801 Collector. We are doing episode 4 of our Magic the Gathering box opening. This time around we're going to be doing the Lost Caverns of Exelon. Um, I've opened this one probably the most out of anything because this is the first set I really bought when I got into Magic. Um, but there's a couple cards that I've yet to get and I'd love to chase and some cards that I've gotten but I'd like to get again. So a couple cards we're going to be looking out for. Obviously, number one is Mana Crypt of any sort. Love some of the other ones that are worth more. That'd be cool. Um, Lost Cavern, or excuse me, Caverns of Souls. Cavern of Souls. Uh, it would be another big one. Wouldn't mind another Roaming Roaming Throne or Tishida, uh, Tishana's Tidebender. Uh, but a couple other cards kind of chasing to kind of see what we can get. So kind of pumped. Um, definitely make sure you like and subscribe to these videos. Leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear uh, your opinion, favorite cards, different things of that nature. And stick around to the end of the video where we will be doing um, the final value. Kind of show you guys what it all came down to as well as uh, open a box topper, kind of some announcements or new things that I'm going to be trying to bring to the thing, to the videos that I need your guys' opinions for. So please uh, leave a comment below uh, about any questions or things, especially after the video. But let's crack into it. So let's see here. Get rid of that. So here are packs. Here's our... Foil box topper. It's not bent. It doesn't look like. So hold that off and then put these up here. Let's start into it. Pack number one. Let's see what we can get here. I've got this picture zoomed in a little bit more this time, predominantly because it's easier for you guys to see the cards and what they are. If I can even get this damn thing open. Really should have just done a scissor, shouldn't I? Jeez Louise, what am I doing wrong here? Come on now. There we go. Woo! Hopefully the mana crypt's not in this bad boy. They really sealed this tight. Anyways, let's get rid of this one here, dinosaur. Now kind of go through these and the, the um, commons pretty quickly just so there's not uh, too much wasted time on these commons and, con and uncommon, excuse me. Staunch crewmate, not bad. And here we go into the lands. Rampaging ceratops. There we go, right off the rip. Tashana's tidebender. Nice, spoiled too. Not bad at all. That's going to be good. Good one right there. Another rare. Great door. Not bad. Dinosaur egg. There's our uh, dino card, I believe. Not bad at all. A call, a call. Oh, no. That's our dinosaur card right there. And Vito, fanatic of Alcatraz. Al 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 Alcazots. Poof. That's a mythic, so not bad. <laughs> Got our value back on that pack, at least. That's good. It's a great way to start this off. That's awesome. I'm just watching. I watch some other YouTubers that do polls, and uh, every time I watch, I'm just like, and I see them pull something crazy. I'm like, all right, maybe this is my time. And I guess that's your, a.k.a. your degenerate gambler inside of me. So nothing new there, I guess. All right, diamond, diamond pickaxe. That's not bad. Captain Storm on land. Bartolome. We've gotten a bunch of those. Restless Prairie. Not a bad one. That's foil, too. Not bad at all. Restless foil land. Okay. Squirming Emergence. Okay. Contest of Claws. Mythic, Bloodlet of Alcatraz. There we go. That's a good one right there. That's a really good one. Um, love that. That's not, not a foil, unfortunately, but still a great, great pull. And then Command Tower. It's a great Command Tower image there. Turns Soul Cleaver. Not that great, but that's all right. <clears throat> so far, not bad. 
Blood butter also, I think that's I don't know, around 15 bucks or something like that. So again, almost got my value out of that pack too. So hope this is a sign for the good that is going to come from this pack. Mana Crypt, baby. That's all I need. Um, I think I just gave away what that last one was, unfortunately, but we'll do it. Okay. I do. I used to, when I very first opened these packs, loved the amount of foils they gave you. But now I realize as I've opened more packs of collectors, I'm like, all right, calm down, guys. I don't need foils of commons. Volatile Vaults, I've gotten that a bunch. Planes, foil, uncommon, Earth Shaker, Dreadmaw. Malcolm, Alluring Scoundrel. It's the regular art in foil, not bad. Another rare. Preacher of Schism? Schisms? Yeah, I think I say that. I don't think I'm saying that right. I was putting some of these in the wrong piles. Throwing me off. The Grim Captain's Locker. Not terrible. Mythic. Ooh, Quintus Khan. Quintarius Khan. That's I haven't gotten that card before, but I was hoping for that one actually too. That's a that's a good card. That's a really cool. I like that a lot. Land is for our Jurassic Park card. Then a rare treasure map. Yep, that boring. That's all right. That's what we get here, right? Okay, I'm just gonna change this up a little bit so I'm not getting these confused. Okay, not a bad pull out of that pack either. So far, honestly, I'm impressed. I'm not sure exactly what the values are, but um, we will find out. I'm actually not too disappointed. Okay, Tyling. Get this in the right angle here. Twist turns, glow cap lantern. Let's order this over here. Deep cavern bats. That is that. All right, here we go. Uncommon sky cloud raptor. I think that's all right, but I don't remember honestly. Another rare poetic ingenuity. Terran soul cleaver again. Scion of Calamity. Interesting. I've not gotten that one before, but I think it's only worth it. It might be worth a buck or two. I can't remember. Reckless, Restless Anchorage. All right. Rare. Oh, there we go. Blue Loyal Raptor. Not bad at all. Really good pull. Really good pull. And it's foil. That's awesome. And then Mag Magmatic Galleon. Not that great. But that Blue Loyal Raptor is awesome. That's a great pull. I like that one a lot. So, so far, not so bad, honestly. So, let's see here. Still going after that mana crypt, baby. Let this be my lucky day. Put that, get rid of that. Okay. Fanatic offering. Over the edge. Promising vein. Sunbird standard. I don't think I've seen that one before. Interesting. Dead Mazire, okay, that's not a bad card. Foil too, not bad at all. Okay. We get into our lands. Zawa, okay, got that a bunch. Unstable Glyph Bridge. Into another rare. Hit the mother load. Blech. Lame. Rare altar of the wrecked wreck wrecked wretched. Poof. Will of Forgotten. Land, Jade Light Spelunker. Alrighty, I think that was our worst pack so far. Not great, not great. But, hey, what can you do? What can you do? Keep adjusting how I want my cards, just so I'm not reaching over the camera as much as possible. <clears throat> Alrighty. A couple mythics so far. Get rid of that. Okay, ancestors. Finding, I kind of love that how that works. This, this look at this card. That's kind of cool. Seismic monster, monstros, whatever. Defossilize. Theological appraiser. Synapsis. 
All right, here we go. <clears throat> Uncommon Koala. Trumpeting Carnosaur. All right, not bad at all. That's a good pull. I suppose, no, it's not. I don't think it is, actually. Growing Rights of Iclamak. All righty, perfect. And that's in a uh, really good one. That's a couple bucks. And Mythic. Penciless Sun Favored. That's a good one. I like that. There we go. I like that art. It's not foil, but still dope. Malcolm. Land. Command Tower again. Oh, that's a different one. That's a different... Look, that's pretty cool. And then a rare Restless Reef. Not bad at all. Oh, it's just the backside. Okay, I've never paid attention to the backside. That's that's great. Alrighty. For some reason we're getting some bad focus here. All right, let's see if that works. Apologies. Halfway through. All right, here we go. First half was pretty good. Let's hope our back half is even better. Alrighty, token. So a little super staction. Ancestor, clay fired bricks. Boss Buckler's Whip, Cavernous Maw. We go into our lands. I might have messed some of those up, whatever. Uncommon, Ishquint. Alrighty. Vito, Fanatic of Al Alcazots. See? Alrighty, that's a mythic. There we go. Rare, Thousand Moon, Smithy. Not bad. Charismatic Conqueror. Tashana Tidebender. Alrighty, there we go. Another one. That is not foil, but that is a great pull. And land for that. And Mythic on this one. Gashalta. There we go. Alrighty. Not a bad pull at all with those. That's awesome. I love that. There's our three. Right there. Tashana, that's... This is a good pack, honestly. I am... I'm impressed. I'm impressed very much so with this, actually. Probably the best one I've opened. I've opened one of these before, and it definitely wasn't as good as this one. So, I will I will take it. Nikazil. Confounding Riddler. What's that? Riddle. Andrew. Land. Uncommon. Oh, I've never seen that one before. That is really interesting. And it's foil. That is really, really interesting. Okay. And then here we go into a rare. Restless Reef. I've never seen that land designed either. That's cool. Sunken Citadel. All right. I think that's actually a decent one. I'm not 100% sure, though. Xavier, breaches, breacher, breaches. Yeah, land. This is another four. Worth a couple bucks. Rare. Hit the mother load. Come on. That thing's lame. You get so many of those. If they cut, they came in all of the. What they call them? Uh, gift bundles for this, unfortunately, so it really, I've seen a bunch of them. Oh, there we go. Got uh, something in the back there. Alrighty. Let's get through all these. Abyssal Gourd Stalker. Aquala again. Ruin Lurk Lurker Bat. Okay. Land. Nikazil again. Mythic Galta, Stampede Tyrant, let's go. That is a great pull. Um, right around 15 to 20 bucks, something like that. That is awesome. Rare Jade Light Spelunking. 
Eye of Tack, or yeah, Tack, I think it is. That's not bad at all. That's a good pull right there. Foil, too. The rare, Lonnie's Hatcher. And then here comes a land, Foil Mountain. Not too bad. And then there we go, that same one, the Great Door. This one's in foil, so not bad at all. All right, three more packs. Here we go. Okay. I'm ruining that back card when it's something I know is not going to be great. Alrighty. Creator of Sun's Creation. Bat Colony. Visage, Visage of Dread. Land. Sunborn. Fabrication Foundry. Arms Journal. I feel like this was up there. It's not. I don't know why I was thinking that. Arm Mount Anchor. Elton Kellen Daring Traveler. The Land. Great. And Rare. Echoing Deeps. Bad. Foil, too. Royal land. All right, two more. Come on, baby. Come on. Give us that mana crypt. Give me the greatest pull of my magic career so far. <clears throat> All right. All these commons. Calam Calamitous Haven. Pixel's Lore Keeper. Dauntless Demantler, Land, Skycloth Rap, Sky, Sky, Skit, Sky, Claw Raptor. Woo! Words are tough. Oh, there we go. Order Axum. Uh, this is a good one. The Deepest Might, the God. This one's a really good one. This is a good pull. Um, decent pull. I think it's around 10 bucks or so, so that's not bad at all on a Mythic. Stanguinate, or Sanguine Evangelist, excuse me. Frank. Francisco Foul Marauder. I've never seen that one. Borderless. That's not bad at all. Another mythic. Alkalot's Deepest Betrayal. Let's go, baby. That's. I think that's a decent one. I think that's a decent one. Not sure what the pull. The. I think it's a couple bucks, but I'm. I'm not recalling correctly. Land. And a rare Lord of Atlantis. This was a great pull as well. Second time I pulled this card. Um, it's our special guest. It can, it's worth a decent amount. I can't remember what it is off the top of my head, but that's a great, great pull. That's awesome. Alrighty. And last one here. Still no cavernous souls, no roaming throne, no mana crypt. Kind of a bummer, but we'll see what happens. Not, can't be too upset. This was honestly a really, really great box. If I'm being honest, I'm, I like this one a lot. This panned out really well. Alrighty. And here we go with our commons again. Spyglass Siren and Foil. Stinging Cavern cra Cave Crawler. Swagwater Holt. Interesting. Okay. Bless us. Uncommon Bartolome. Turn Soul Cleaver again. Deep Root Pilgrimage, not a bad pull, not a bad pull. Mythic, oh, Zarlac, the Smiling Flood. It's a cool card, I've already got it in my, my pre-con, so I don't think it's worth the whole ton, but. Echoing Deeps again, and another land. Damn, we didn't get hardly any Jurassic World cards. That's not good. Hulking Raptor, not bad in a rare. Not bad. So, out of all our mythics, um, we did definitely get some decent ones. Um, Blood Letter, Quintos, or Quintarius Pond, excuse me, Pantsler, that's not a bad one. Pantalaza, excuse me. Galta, not bad at all. Another Galta, two Galtas in that one, not bad at all. I, an Ogier. I got not seen them all on the screen, but, uh, yeah, not bad at all. Blood letter. All these, I should show you all these, but yes. Not bad at all. 
Um, all right, I will input the prices now, as well as on the side, what I'm gonna do is, somewhere on the screen, I will put down what the cost of the box was and what I made, uh, what the cards were, were all worth. And then what I'd love to do is, starting soon, I, I would love for you guys to leave comments down below and let me know what, um, what pack you'd like me to open up next. Uh, I'm leaning towards Commander Master Set Boosters. It's going to be pretty pricey, but we'll see. Um, and then also is, uh, let me know, I'd, I'd inevitably like to set something up where some of you guys, my viewers, can purchase packs uh, that I'm opening up. And I open it on on stream for you, and then I ship it out to you for whatever is inside that pack. So uh, something I've seen some other streamers do that I, their video YouTubers do, and I'd like to do that as well. I think it'd be a lot of fun. But thank you so much for sticking around, and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.